Can you give me a kiss on the cheek? Thank you, dear. That's my wifey. She's beautiful. Be jealous. She's a, a supermodel. And like, like literally she is though, like she does acting stuff all day because that's, that's what she can do. Um, all right, so Team Nothing Fancy for the win. They did win that last game, um, so they are all the way to the finals. So they will be playing whoever is the winner of this game unless Team um, Samsung Black can win two games in a row. So this is the one opportunity that they have to be able to get into a second win. We've got a LeBlanc band, Team uh, Feed Areno, Please Areno. No, I think it was Team Samsung Black. What's that? I'm totally confused now. I gotta check this here. So, um, uh, Tigris, what are the wins at at the moment? One, one between the two, or what? I can't even remember which team won first. So, rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> it's not the same. It's not the same. No kisses are the same. I can't remember. Um, yeah, this is game two, so we only had one win. I think it was Samsung Black that won the first of the last games, um, but I can't. I can't remember completely. So, um, but anyway, Tristana banned out as well as the Ari, Syndra, Katarina. Interesting that Katarina continues to get banned out, and yet she's not been in any game. I guess they they really don't like those reset champions. Um, we also saw the power of Cinder the last game, even though she lost. So they're going to ban out Cinder as well, saying we're not interested in having her in the game. Jax banned out the major pusher Jax. It's just so hard to kill. So Miyuki starting us off with a Lucian pick. So that is actually a good grab, considering that Lucian has been so highly sought after. And immediately turning it around, a Jace and Orianna hovering over those. So we see a lot of the same champions continue to get played, which is amazing. That's a good thing, because it's like in the LCS. It's all about uh, people that actually play well with the champions, not necessarily about their picks and bans. So I'm really, really excited to, to see this game. I feel tired anyway, so oh my gosh, we all get tired at some point. This is, I'm going to have to go back and count, but this is honestly like my eighth game casted. Let's see here, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventh game casted tonight. So seventh game that I've been a part of, but absolutely still loving it. So then you just go to the point system people on the stream, you get more for your stream, more points you get, you can use towards raffles, we have this, with the following locations, donation, occasion, music, so let's continue to request for the offering, volume, because you can get donate, you can get extra points, so you can bring more donors, people, different, better things for people who use the win point, I, if I had 50 points, I can do a bank robbery, I come out with, that would be my rest of the manager when you hit the button, okay, we're going out, so 1-0, but which team won it though? I just read through all of Zero D, or um, yeah, Zero D's messages all at the same time, so, can you play tomorrow? You still have the third to fourth place stream. That's true. That's true, Amy. You do need to be on because even though Samsung Cardboard did lose on that semifinals game, they will be playing for the bronze match, the third place matchup. We do have a third to fourth place matchup because we have um, winners. So as uh, a Samsung Black. Okay, so Samsung Black did win that first game. So they're going to have to win the second game to go into the finals against Nothing Fancy. So... You guys will be starting first, so... Okay, cool, so we're going to start with that third place matchup and then go into the finals, which I am so excited for. So excited for, so... This is going to be amazing. This, I, this, this tournament, this whole tournament has been awesome, and I absolutely love it. And I'm just... You guys have been so cool, you guys out there, the audience. I still have, like, 50 of you guys viewing, and you guys are amazing. Mm. I just don't even... You guys are so awesome, so... Chrono Frost grabbing up the Xerath for the mid lane. Shades of Shadows with the Amumu. It probably is an Amumu jungle, and he's simply grabbing the teleport for to trade to somebody for the top lane. It might be a Mummy top lane, but I feel that, that bandage toss is a lot more useful when it comes out of the jungle than when it comes just from the top lane. So that was not a Jace pick. Rage still hard wanted to make sure that he grabbed a Kha'Zix for the team, but instead Joe Mama may be picking up a the Jace instead. So they will. So it's the same Jace and Oriana. Uh, however, this Graves is a new pick. Randy797 is a new player, a fill-in, a sub for Purple Team, for Team Samsung Black. They did win that first game, so he's coming in a little advantage here. And Asterik, uh, I still can't get this name. Asterite. Asterite. It's like Astronaut? Ast Asteroid? Asterite? Asterite. I don't even know what it's like. Um... <laughs> 
is the, the final pick on that one. So Randy797, a fill-in ADC. However, we'll be probably trading it to Rage So Hard Die on the Kha'Zix and instead going a Kha'Zix jungle. Darth Finn grabbing by the beautiful Leona, as per usual. And Ash Thrasher picking up the Pantheon once again. Pantheon has done so well this game. I think so far in this tournament, he is 100% win ratio. Every team that's played a Pantheon has done amazingly well. So, Ash right. Ash Thrasher. Asherite. Oh, Asherite. Okay. So there is Ash Thrasher and Asherite. Asher. Oh, right. Like, yeah, the, the third right. Oh, I can't even believe I didn't forget that. So Asherite. Thank you so much, the Tigress, for um, letting me know that. So Asherite. Asherite. The beautiful Asherite picking up a Braum support for the bottom lane. Braum is very successful with his uh, crowd control, having great uh, slows as well as the stun option every time that his passive... Uh, ticks off four times on an enemy champion and having that unbreakable wall does an excellent job of dealing with a lot of the ranged attacks from the enemy team and last but not least has his uh, ice I totally forget the name of his ultimate but has his ultimate to mock up the enemy team so rage so hardy rage so hard die rage so hardy rage so hard but he's got like hard die Rage so hardy. Okay, so Rage so hardy. Like hardy iron buckle. I don't even know. All right, so Rage so hardy. I'll try to get you guys' name right. I'm so sorry about that. Um, Graves jungle. Wow, we're going to have a Graves jungle? Woo, let's do it. Let's do it. Nah, it's not going to happen. He traded it out, so it's Kha'Zix in the jungle. Joe Mama playing that AD Graves and Zaboomafu. Oh, sorry, Rage so hardy playing the Jace in that top lane. So once again, we're going to have a Jace in the top lane, Orion in the mid lane, Kha'Zix in the jungle. But this time, we've got a Braum and a Graves lined up against a Lucian Leona. We've seen the power of the Lucian Leona. However, it hasn't been super successful. Honest to goodness, though, I think I am going to give this game over to Team Feed, please, because I, seriously, every game that Pantheon has been a part of, he has dominated. He has crushed the enemy team. And on top of that, having an Amumu full team Pantheon ultimate coming in, that's damage, bro. That's death. So I'm, I'm hashtag Team Feed, please, all the way. So that's what I'm saying. Hashtag Team Feed, please, for the win. Purple team will prevail. You think so? You think so? Hashtag Team Samsung Black. I don't know. We'll see. Blue team has six synergy. That Amumu, Pantheon, Leona, Zerath. I expect some sick wombo combos. On the other side, purple has a nice engage and disengage. As usual, we see two different types of teams come out here. We've got the team that's interested in picking off a kill here, picking off a kill there, backing off, grabbing a tower, grabbing a tower, grab the dragon, grab Baron, pick off a kill. Not really interested in engaging in a full 5v5 team fight. However, we have the other team that's really interested in engaging in that full 5v5 team fight. Amumu is only super successful when he has that wombo combo ultimate, followed with the Pantheon, Lucian Culling hitting all the members of the enemy team, Zareth jumping in with massive AoE damage. They want to team fight. Team Feed Please Arena wants to get in there, wants to get down and dirty. 4v4, 5v5 team fights. They want that to happen. So it's all on Samsung Black side to try to play defensively, try to be a little bit protective, wait until somebody on Team Feed Please Arena steps out of line and then punish them for that. Kha'Zix jumps in. Braum with a nice knock up and stun as well. Jace with the poke damage. Oriana ult pulling somebody away from the team to finish off a kill. It is going to be great. So hashtag Samsung Black. They they want it. They want it. We'll see if they can have it. Salty Panda T has been here since the beginning of time today, and that is just absolutely amazing. But don't forget, we're not going all night. We're going to be back tomorrow to finish it off. We're going to have a best out of three for, I think it's the best out of three, for the final um, uh, third place and fourth place. And then we're going to have a best out of five um, for the two winners of the team. <laughs> Nightbot 2 OP. Nightbot 2 OP. So... Big money, Z2. Why the salt? Why the salt? It's supposed to sub for jungle. Aww. Uh, Amy X Angel is a little bit salty as she had a rough game last game. She was playing the beautiful Leona but couldn't quite get to a full win. Team Nothing Fancy just dominating so hard. But don't worry, Amy. 
you have a chance to come back and win third place, so best of luck to you. As we finish up the last couple of seconds here, I'm going to run through the champions and their abilities real fast. They're not abilities, what am I talking about? Champions and their players real fast. Muki on that Xerath for the mid lane. Chrono Frost in the bottom lane, ADC Lucien. Got that LeBron coming in here. Shades of Shadows with the Tearful Mummy is going to be playing a top lane Mummy. So, Mummy versus Jace. That will be an interesting lineup. In the meantime, Ash Thrasher on the Pantheon for the jungle, and Darth Vin with the Leona. That's for Team Pleaser Feederino, Pleaserino. For Team Samsung Black, we've got Zabumafu playing the Oriana in the mid lane. Rage So Hardy on the top lane Jace. Joe Mama 1199 playing the Graves in the bottom lane ADC role. Randy 797 with the jungle uh Kha'Zix, and if I, my brain serves me correctly, we have a uh, Braum support by, I can't remember at the moment, so switching over, we've got, what did we say here, blue team was Team Feederino, please Zerino, and Team Fee, oh, Feed Pulls, oh, we gotta add a period before Feed, because that's Feederino, please Zerino, and red team is... Samsung Black. There we go. So it is at Ashright, Ashright on that Braum support in the bottom lane, finishing that off. So unless Pantheon bullies Jace, Amumu will get destroyed, or at least he won't be able to farm. This is this is not the finals, Rara. I'm dead. This is the semi-finals, finishing it off. Zabumafu is still once again struggling to connect. Hopefully, he will be able to get in. So so. I'm resty with Leona. Leona is so OP, man. Leona is beautiful. But don't worry. Don't worry. You can still... Second set of semifinals. This is the second set. Um, I'll show you guys as soon as the game starts. I'll bring up the semifinals to finals. So that way you guys can see what's going on. But Nothing Fancy did win that semifinals. 2-0 won that set. Uh, against Samsung Cardboard. So Samsung Cardboard is lined up for the third place matchup against whoever loses this game. So, well, not necessarily this game. Um, if Team Samsung Black, uh, or sorry, if Feederino, please, Reno wins this game, we'll be going into a third and last game for these guys to be able to finish it off because each team will have one win. However, at the moment, Team Samsung Black did win that first game as we go into the second game. Zabumafu is just having so much trouble. He's playing on a toaster. Playing on a toaster. This is game two. Thank you, Latigris, once again, for being uh, awesome, awesome, and super helpful coming in here and always giving the right information when it's necessary. It's getting super late. It's 11 o'clock my time here. However, we still have a lot of people joining us and uh, hanging out with us. So thank you guys for joining and uh, being a part of this. I'm just going to negate this music because it is it is still going so we're just gonna go ahead and say hey there we go as soon as we stop the music we switched in game so red team is samsung black so we want to see samsung black oh look i don't have to change who who won oh we got the pause waiting for zabumafu to jump in so team feed pulls so while we're doing that, we're going to bring up Window Capture. There we go. So you can see here, there is a boom for reconnecting. In the meantime, while they're doing that, Nothing Fancy did take that first, or that two-game win against um, streaming, or Samsung Cardboard. We're missing streaming Cardboard. Um, so they will be going into the finals. And then for us, Samsung Black is at one win. Oh, I can't move my mouse around. There we go. One win against Team Feederino, Please Arena. However, they have an opportunity to come back and to win. So we can watch the game on your YouTube channel, right? Um, really awesome to have you, Shackcast. Thank you, Rock1777. And yes, um, you can. Um, all games casted will be posted on YouTube tonight and be av avail available to watch tomorrow. Um, yeah, Samsung probably would lost, so we're not going to have a Samsung versus Samsung game, unfortunately. But... Um, 
you can check out that YouTube information all the way over on the very left. You can see where my YouTube information's at, and that way you can go and check that out. So is it user or users? That's my real quick question. In the meantime, while these teams get underway, I'm going to actually go ahead and move everyone to the correct laning position. You can also check out that information below. So you can find that. Jace against Mummy in the top lane. Oriana in the mid lane. Okay, cool. So looks like blue team is looking at invading, possibly invading. Um, while we get this underway, I want to double check that I might have to change that channel information because it's supposed to be um, users, not user, I believe. I want to double check that real fast. So looks like blue team is looking for an invade. They're, they're all hanging out here, coming together. Um, either way, I'll just, I'll just post this here. So I want to watch it. I want to wreck it. I don't really want to spend like six plus hours. <laughs> you don't. If you only watch two games, then you won't. Ah, uh, Asherite going to see these blue team members. They're going to back off. They didn't get the surprise gank that they were looking for, so they're going to back off. Um, Mumu, he is the one who's going to be... Oh, Braum might cue him. Okay. Just missed for the word. Okay. Whew, that was, that's crazy. Um, thought he was going to throw a cue and stop the mummy from backing, which could have potentially led to red team engaging on him, but they did not, so... Machete start as always for the junglers. In the bottom lane, we actually have a perfect lineup between these two. Relic shields on both of them, an extra ward, and the um, biscuit of rejuvenation. So thank you, Amy's X Angel, for subbing on my YouTube channel. That's awesome. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, red team may invade. We've got a Braum, a Kha'Zix, and um, somebody else hanging just off to the side here. Um, the Graves. Oriana's in that mid lane, so it looks like red team does. They're going to try to catch somebody out. Lucian, oh, here we go. Going to find out the Leona. they got to get that stun down. She's got two procs. Flashes over the wall to not get that fourth proc. So they burned a flash on this Leona, but they did not get a kill. And that's going to slow Kha'Zix's blue buff start a lot, as they already have minions in the bottom. Looks like Braum is going to make his way to help that leash uh, for Kha'Zix. And Graves is just going to sit in that bottom lane to go ahead and grab some of these minions. So Miyuki trying to get a little bit of damage back and forth from Zabu. However, that early Oriana shield is just so great. So great. So Shades of Shadows in that top lane. Um, I think Shades of Shadows is actually a new player too. So welcome Shades of Shadows to the stream um, and to the game. So Randy, there we go. Finally getting that blue buff. But he is so far behind already. Only having just finished his blue buff uh, while Pantheon's finishing his uh, his blue buff, and it has double buff already, so this Kha'Zix is a little bit far behind. Chronofrost getting a little bit of damage. Joe Mama going in on that. Chronofrost, two, three procs. Okay, I wondered if uh, Graves was going to go in or not to try to get that fourth proc on Chronofrost and help. But I hope Pantheon will try to catch that Kha'Zix that is red and punish him for an invade. It doesn't look like he will. He's just going and clearing his wo wolves. However, Aparia, that is an excellent, excellent suggestion. In a game like this, when Pantheon, you know that that Kha'Zix is going to be jungling slow. Um, Pantheon finished his blue buff, had double buff, and could have instantly gone to Kha'Zix's red, waited for him there, and finished him off. Kha'Zix is uh, semi-low health down to about half health there, and it would have been an easy, easy kill for Pantheon. You have to pay attention to what the enemy team is doing, and it would have been great. So punish him for the invade. So I want to speak what for Luigi. I don't know what the for the Luigi, but okay. I, I don't know. That's not, that's not my department. I have no idea. No idea. So, Asherite getting throwing out those cues. Going to see if it'll land on Chrono Frost. Going to put up that nice unbreakable wall, allowing Graves to just continue to slow farm. And now he turns in, getting a little bit of damage. Once again, there we go. There's that stun onto Chrono Frost that we were looking for. Passive proc being used. Jumping in onto Orion in the mid lane, just getting a little bit of damage. There's a good bit of damage from Yuki on that Zareth. However, Orion going to live through that one down to about half health. Still has a Flash Ignite available. Wasn't interested in flashing. So, oh, talking about heroes. So, I think Mario took it. Darth Vin, a lot of damage. Joe Mama having to back off from this one. The Flash is exhausted. He's healed himself. Can he make his way out of there? Lucian kind of come and dashes in. Double auto attack. Not quite enough. Two more hits will actually stun this. Um, yeah, the uh, Lucian, and now he's going to have to back off. Asherite trying to get, make his way back underneath that tower. So a nice engage. Darth Vin's so tanky. Asherite doing a lot of stunning to Chrono Frost. However, Jomala only focused on escaping, did no damage back, and didn't really have an opportunity to turn around. So now that they're back to farming once again, Asherite down a little bit in health. We're going to see if they can actually manage to get a kill. Red Team once again doing a little bit well in farm, about 200, 300 farm. Or a 300 gold farm. 
uh, above the other team as we have no kills just yet a couple close calls on first blood but nobody's gone down just yet literally save grace i completely agree that um lucien could have had two more shots on the um graves however brahm's last q stunned the Lucian, and so he couldn't do any more damage, which is just nice. Leona jumping in, gonna get the stun onto Brom. However, he's gonna get that passive proc off onto Leona, and that's gonna be Graves going in. Nice stun onto Darth Van Asherite trying to block some damage. They're gonna back off once again in that top lane. Shade of Shadows is down to almost no mana. However, he is farming really nicely. 26 farm. Jace actually farming a little bit better. 33 farm in that top lane. Mu just started with the health crystal. Pantheon just off to the side. Both of these guys are very low health. He could have come from the back line, so we'll see. We really need to see the caster and a random and a ramic comic and a random comic during the game. Really need to see the caster and a random comic during the game. I have I know a random comic. I have, okay, I you're going to have to explain yourself Trimantha, Trimantha because I have no idea. That's a great username, Trimantha. So Pantheon still hanging out here in this bottom lane. Kha'Zix just off to the side, so if Pantheon does engage, Kha'Zix can make his way there. However, they are going to back off. They don't, Red Team does not have a ward. They did actually ping that ward and say we may have seen Pantheon down there. Rage so hard, getting some damage on the Shades of Shadows. Shades of Shadows, oh my gosh, tongue twister on that one. Ignite is ticking away, however, Amumu should be able to escape. There's that flash engage from Pantheon. First blood over to Leona, who gets it with a Q. She leapt in just trying to hold Graves still long enough for somebody else to kill, but grabbed the kill herself. So, I mean, it gives an assist over to other people, but... Lucian decides not to push the tower just yet. Instead, going to go ahead and back. Go ahead and farm. That is a beautiful J skin, by the way. Rage, is, rage, uh, rage so hardy. Um, can I read your name right? Not to mention the picture of Vayne is covering Brahm's HP and mana bar. So, yeah, I could change that. Trimantha is unhappy that your overlay covers so much with your webcam and driving comic pictures co cover your personal ads. I don't have any personal ads. Um, I could take away the J4. That's fine. I don't have a problem doing that in this last game. Um, well, let's actually edit scene and shrink this down a little bit. Since we know that we're on the end of the tournament, um, we'll do that, and that way you guys can see that. Um, we'll take away the duo caster, and where is that image for Jarvan de Firth? Um, there we go. Should be. Oh, no, that's not. That's the overlay there. J4 here. That's it. Um, so I don't. I mean, there's really not a whole lot that you can see there, but um, this shows Brahms out there a little bit better. So hopefully that'll help you out. Hopefully that'll help you out. Thank you, Rara. I'm dead for explaining what's going on there. So, um, Facebook and YouTube links are personal ads. Oh, okay. Amuba going in. Rage is on. Oh, Rage so hardy. Getting a little bit of damage back and forth. Jomantha down to about half health here. That Leona flashing in to try to get some stuns on him. Not going to find the engage that she wants to. Asherite tanking so much damage. Gets the stun onto Chrono Frost. Graves with the Q. Not going to land on that Lucian. Now backing off. The stun. Lucian picking up another kill. Chrono Frost in that. Or I guess the first kill for himself in that bottom lane. But a second kill down there. JQ60 guy. Thanks for doing that for your viewers. You're a good dude. Just trying to help out. Uh, I wanted to make sure that one shot GG was really visible however um when you guys say things like that and you need to be able to see things a little bit i can do that so um kind of help you out for that j4 really um i do have personal ads it just kind of covers up a little on the left hand side i felt that, that wasn't really necessary for you guys to see considering that you can see the rest of it here and what their builds are so you're not truly seeing anything from that as well as it covers up that directed camera mode but um just doing doing what i can doing what i can so Brom just blocking Chrono Frost, getting a little bit of damage using that double attack with the um, his passive just to clear some more minions. Graves is back now. He has died a second time. O oh, and two, not looking good for Red Team so far. However, they're slowly catching back up in gold simply due to farming. Darth been getting ready for another engage. Will she go? And nope, she's just getting a little bit of the proc off on the minions. So. Continuing to use that Relic Shield to help heal her Lucian up, who is 1-0-1. Oh, Both of them are 1-0-1 oh, down there, so J4 not helping anymore. I know, I know. The other viewers asked me to hang, or to uh, take him off of the stream for a while, so we'll do that for this game in particular, see if that helps at all. I like when J4 helps, though. He's a really good caster. He gives great advice all the time, so... J, you got piles of compliments for the participants. Yes, I know. Thank you, Tigress. I appreciate that as well. Just do my best. Do my duty, sir. 
12k gold to 11k gold. Red team slowly getting a little bit behind here, but trying to catch back up. Mostly it's this bottom lane grace. Haven't had any help yet from Kha'Zix in the jungle. Pantheon's ganked once. Um, starting to snowball Lucian doing well. So Zabufu in the mid lane taking a little bit of damage. Does have her ultimate available. Darth Man coming in here. Getting a nice stun on Ash, right? Will Lucian go in? Pantheon just off to the side. Looks like they're not going to get in just quite yet. Blue team silly slowly pushing that down there. Graves is at 51 farm, Lucy at 58, so he's not bad on farm in that bottom lane. Pantheon backing off, kind of coming around the sidelines. May look at ganking from behind, however, uh, Zillion here, or not Zillion, Zareth, moving towards the mid lane. We'll see if they can get a gank off on Orianna. Orianna is kind of difficult to gank, however, if you get some good CC on her, that'll be enough. May wait for this Zareth to land a stun before Pantheon comes in and follows it up, so... Brutalizer for Lucian, they obviously want to farm kills on Graves, or at least abuse him. I completely concur. However, they haven't really an opportunity to. Braum doing a nice job of defending so far. Zamufu taking a little bit of damage, but turns it back. Kha'Zix coming in the bottom lane, double buff. He's just going to get stunned, though. Take a lot of damage. Graves going ahead and using the ultimate. That Kha'Zix is trying to get out of there. Darth Vayne doing a nice job of completely getting out. A beautiful ult by Braum. They're going to knock both of them up. Graves wanted to finish off Darth Vayne. Won't be enough. A Moomin now teleporting to that bottom lane. Four-man gank. Going to bandage toss two Graves. Finish him off with an ultimate. And stun Braum as well. He flashes to live. Pantheon now turning on to um, Kha'Zix who's still here hanging out. Lucian coming in from the behind the bushes, behind the tower to finish off Braum. Now Oriana though she's going to return a kill. This is the first kill turned back around and then get some vision. Jace punishing by moving onto the tower. However, that's going to be a dragon as well. Once again, these four-man ganks in the bottom lane being a huge effect immediately turned into a dragon. If I could just could just show how many times this four-man gank turned into a dragon. Four-man gank turned into a dragon every single game. It's amazing. Beautiful art from Oriana. Going to get some damage onto Pantheon Leona. However, that's going to be the death of herself. She tries to get close enough to the tower to punch. She does! She dodged one! She just dodged one! And she did! Zabufu lives with no health, dodges all of Zareth's ultimates. What an incredible flash Oriana lives. Stream freaking highlight. I seriously would have passed out from just simply freaked out on that Oriana play. This game is amazing. What the heck on that Zabumafu play, dodging all of Zareth's ultimates. Just amazing. You could come in here in the mid lane to continue farming. <sighs> I nearly had a freaking heart attack, and I wasn't even playing. I was simply shoutcasting and watching Oriana. What on earth? Amazing job. Amazing job. Dogs heard you just now. <laughs> it's probably true. It's probably true. But what an incredible play. Five and one. Good try, though, from Oriana. She didn't really get too much success stealing the dragon or getting any kills. However, she lived, and that alone was amazing. Amazing, amazing. So Chrono Frost getting a little bit of damage. Asherite trying to back off from this. Took a little bit of damage. Raised so hard in that top lane. Going to turn it on to Shades of Shadows. Going to go back and forth. Leona getting some nice ultimates out here. Using the Eclipse. Graves just going ahead and using the ultimate just to get a little bit of damage. Exhaust on the Chrono Frost. Red Team just has zero damage in this bottom lane so far. Graves being punished so hard. Only has that spell vamp and a little bit of, or yeah, the vamp scepter and a little bit of attack speed. However, just struggling. Now 0 and 3. Braum as well. Well, simply a tank in that bottom lane, but still can't tank the damage from this Lucian. Finishing off the Brutalizer as well as a Phage now. So, you're gonna have amazing damage. The Boomafu now turning on to Miyuku. Will it be enough? Miyuku is here. Pantheon ulting it from behind. Oriana's running away. Will she be able to escape? She's down to about half health here. Pantheon coming in. She's got the speed boost from her Q. Oh, Mumu comes out of nowhere. She no doesn't have flash up and available. No more fancy moves for her. And now Leona's pushing in the mid lane. Gets a nice EQ onto Randy. However, he's gonna be able to escape from that. Follow with the Pantheon stun. That rage so hardy. Jace going just completely bursted down. Five man blue team. This coordination from Blue Team, Team Feeds Please, is just incredible. 7 and 1. A move coming in. A great ultimate on Ashra and Randy. 797. Double kill over to Lucian. And now they're grabbing a tower. 9 and 1. Completely opposite of the previous games. They're literally just replaying nothing fancy against Samsung Cardboard. And it is all on Team um, Feed Please right now because they have done an incredible job. Double turrets in the mid lane as well as what would have been a long term slowly built ace over. They slowly got each one of uh, Red Team even if it didn't get a full ace. So BF Sword would have done more than Brutalizer. I don't know. I don't know. But Lucian still doing a fantastic job. Four and one. Jace or Graves in this bottom lane punishing. Grabbed up that tower. I think he actually they wouldn't have been an ace because they didn't kill Graves. However, they're going to kill Graves now as he is stuck around a little bit too long. 
The mummy here as well. He's going to dash, try to live, but Lucian's got a dash of his own. There's the bandage toss from the mummy. Shades of Shadows picking up yet another kill. Started with a rod of ages, 303. Going to have a lot of tankiness and damage when it comes towards that mid to late game. Darth Vin clearing up a ward there. Has that pink ward. Oh, Rihanna literally just showed up and was like, hey, pink ward. Got it. Ah, oh, sweeping lens from Liana having to go down. Oriana grabbing up that pink word kill. It was just hilarious. Braum coming in this bottom lane, but he's only a tank. He's not going to have a whole lot they can do against Chrono Frost other than simply try to clear minions. So uh, it's pretty standard on Earl Lucian. On early Lucian, Sneaky do it, so it's pretty much the law. If Sneaky does it, it's the law. So it's payback for Samsung beating all of the NA teams in Worlds. So, <laughs> so great plays back and forth, though. Um, Houston takes three fourths of his health when he ults. Just uh, so much damage every time. And now Zareth has a uh, needlessly large rot as well. Uh, Oriana went with the early mana instead, grabbing up that Athena's Unholy Grail. Chalice of Harmony from that Zareth helping him out a little bit, but we'll see if the damage from that Nasty Lodge Rod will truly come into effect. And that top lane, Mummy's getting scary. He's got additional health with the Giant's Belt and that armor as well. Rage so hardy, just trying to back off down to about half health here. Another uh, bandage toss may spell death for him. He's going to flash. So Jace does burn that flash. Braum clearing this pink word in the bottom lane. Oh, he's going to take a lot of damage. So much damage from Lucian Pro. Rocking Leona's passive coming in here. Graves Pantheon ulting in as well. They want this Asherite. Just going to take it. So much stuns as well. I think um, Jace considered teleporting towards the bottom lane and then backed off, realizing that Mumu was down there as well. So, no, no one on red team has to teleport. So, who else? Oh, it was the mummy was considering teleporting down there. That's what was happening. But then realized that his team had it, so there was no reason for him to teleport. 11 to 1, 6k gold in the lead. Just amazing. Triforce bet is on Lucian as well now. Interesting. Yeah, I don't even keep up with updates. So Lucian finishing off a tower. Leona throwing out that E. Didn't land, but I'm going to head to sleep. Goodbye. One shot GG. Mr. Noodles, it has been an honor. Glad to have you. Thank you for joining us. It is getting a little bit late, 1130 now, but the games are not over yet, so we're still hanging in there, continuing to cast. This game is going all the way. Bucky Boy as well. Thank you for jumping in here. Steel of Shadows grabbing up this farm. 107 farm to 117. Jace continuing to smack around Shades of Shadows in that top lane, but he took a lot of damage earlier. Blue team wants this dragon. They had the timer on it, 17 seconds. I personally think it's a little bit cheesy that they actually allow you to see in-game timers now instead of just keeping track. I think that was part of the skill of the game was keeping track of dragon. But, I mean, eh, it's not my rules of the game, so... Red team showing up. They're going to be able to clear this pink ward. No problem. Came from behind. Blue team. Blue team goes, oh, well, maybe maybe, maybe we can't get it as, as, as easy as possible. Red team's here as well. Brom getting some nice words. Going to slow down Ash Thrasher. They're going to get a little bit of damage. Oriana does so much damage with her Q already. Double wards just to help clear that. Pantheon going to leap over. Can he steal it? Amumu shows up with a nice teleport. Who's going to get the dragon? Kha'Zix steals it. Amumu with an ultimate. So much damage. Full calling onto Graves. Not quite enough, though. Damage back and forth. They're on it here as well. Oh, the Kha'Zix dodging all of Zara's damage though and now Jace coming in from the sidelines double kill over to Lucian grabbing up now he's jumping in onto Orianna does he have enough damage Zabufu's got the ignite taking on him and Zabufu will take the kill Darth Vin grabbing up a little bit of damage on Leona as the rest of blue team backs off so red team lost three members but got two kills and the dragon from that so not a bad trade in the end not a bad trade Flip of the coin, heads you stay up, tails you sleep. All right, let's flip here. It is always going to be stay up. Always going to be stay up. So when you want a snowball, training force is good. Most ADC builds go static blade because they want to siege and poke. Oh, no, I was saying it to Noodle. Okay. Should I stay or should I go? Who knows? Purple team is a squishy composition, so Trinity Force would be des best decision for Lucian. If you guys also, you guys can discuss this on the One Shot GG forums. If you go there, you'll have a lot of other people, people that have both played. You can ask them questions about their gameplay styles, their builds, or you can suggest builds of your own. So if you guys aren't a part of the One Shot GG community, this is the tournament for that. So go and check out the One Shot GG and share what your ideas are. Trinity Force, um, uh, Blade of the Ruin King, Bloodthirster. I mean, what's the first build? Who no, maybe you should just build straight blood or um, BF swords all the way. That's what I do. Six BF swords across the wall. That's how I build my Lucian. But I'm gonna make heads stay up and tails sleep. So head stay up. Amy sticking around with us. Thank you, Amy, for joining us. Glad that you're still here. Yes. In-game timers is that there are so many third-party tools that people were using that kept. Ah, uh, that's true. Um, so many third-party tools. They're like, hey, we might as well make one in-game if people are gonna use them anyway. So. 
Red team maybe caught out a little bit. Here's that teleport from Lemmy coming in from the back lines here. Brahm's going to say hi to him. However, he's going to try to jump over the wall to Kha'Zix. He's going to get on Graves, the one target that he really wants. Shades of Shadows hanging out here. He could five-man ult, but I don't think he has the ult up. It's not up for another moment. Curse of the Mummy not quite there just yet. Oriana with a great four-man ult pulls everyone together. That's going to be a little bit of damage, but the rest of Red Team's not there to follow up. Chrono Frost around about half health here trying to get some poke in. Oriana finishing off the Mummy. She has a lot of mana. She can, she's got red buff as well. They can slowly turn. There's a great Eclipse onto two members of Red Team, but Al Shride going to take up that kill. Bucky Boy, thank you for the follow. Miyuku getting a nice stun onto Rage Hardys as he continues to back off here. Chrono Frost continues to chase in. Red Team wants some more kills. Actually going down, double kill over to the Braum. He, yo, he didn't go down. He was solo held, but he didn't go down. Oh my gosh. Asher right with almost no health on. That is just crazy. Three Phantom Dancers and three Bloodthirsters. Hey, yeah, Draven works. So, Razor is still going in. Gets some slows onto Chrono Frost and Miku. It could be a slow. Hey, Zabumufu now on a killing spree. Ray Randy 797 on that Kha'Zix. They decide to finally back off. They chase them all the way from the bottom lane tower back to their own middle second tier tower. Picking up kills the whole way. Four kills. This team is not over yet. Almost evening up in the gold. That 2k gold behind. Red team is continuing to hang in there. They've got a pink ward just over to the side, just behind this mid lane tower. So they did not were able to get a tower off of that, but they certainly got a lot of kills, and now they're going to have a lot of golds as well. Graves didn't waste money on extra Doran or Vamp. He could have had his IE by now. Seeing that Lucian has no complete item, which I'm wondering why. I think Graves can catch up and carry. It could be. It is hard to say indeed. Too late to get another Dorans. Ah, four Dorans. I mean, it just works on Rengar. If it works, if it works on Rengar, it works on Graves. That's what I'm saying. You know, Penta, Penta Doran blades in the... All you need is five Doran's blade and boots. I mean, it's, that's how you roll on the Rengar, at least. You need to go Bork and Yumias on his items. Back and forth. 14 kills to 7 kills. Shades of Shadows taking it was just a little bit of damage, but turning it back on Raids of Hardy. That Jace punch up there has that Brutalizer as well as that Man Immune. Um, Kha'Zix as well. Brutalizer sitting in his inventory. So many Brutalizers in this game. Um, Pantheon has now finished his Tiamat. He's going for that early Hydras. Um, finished his jungling item as well. Mumu really picking up the Randuin, so getting really tanky on top of the little bit of damage that that Rod of Ages does. It's really hard to say right now which team will win. Blue team, or team um, Feed Please, is about 4k gold, 3k gold in the lead, and they had such a strong start, but red team is slowly but surely coming back. That Braum eventual CC as he can slowly just wither people down with one um, auto attack or a Q starts his passive and as long as a couple of people can get some auto attacks on that person they're going to be stunned so it's kind of more he could eventually like stun an entire team as long as he continues to auto the right of people and start those um that passive bill Vanion <laughs> throwing out a little bit of spears there there's oh no wraiths i guess i guess we can't do that the wraith cup 2014 hasn't happened you can't get the wraith buff pantheon Wraith buff OP, man. We had the the Wraith Cup 2014 about three months ago, and it was a fantastic tournament. Very similar to this, a little bit smaller. Everyone on the winning team got $10 Riot Point cards, and um, they, they, we named it the Wraith Cup of 2014. It was fantastic. So, I mean, ADC, IE or bust. IE all the way is what the Tigress says. So, us for a while, damn, we got back out. I was mixing my items my first game. So, so Shade of Shadows coming in here. Joe Mama backing off from that mid lane. Looks like there's three members of blue team over here. That top lane gonna poke Rage really hard. He's down to about a third of his health, having to back off. He's gonna have to give that tower over as red team backs off in the mid lane as well. Red team kind of at a loss. They're kind of scattered across the board now, trying to figure out what to do. They couldn't push that mid lane with the Leona Mumu, but they couldn't push that top lane either, or at least couldn't defend it as Jace had to back off from that. The culling from Lucian too strong indeed. So let's go, team. Let's go. Whew. Ha! Bork and Yumi is just so broken. Super strong across the way. Welcome back, C9 Faker. I thought you went to sleep, so. Braum getting a little bit of a slow on Leona. 14 kills to 7. No kills happen really just yet. Red team backing off from this. They're pinging for Dragon, but they can't defend their own base. Jace here now trying to wave clear. Another calling from Lucian clears all of those minions. And now there's four members, five members of blue team jumping straight on to Jace. He flashes. Can he live? There's, ah, oh, Chrono Frost flashes in to get the kill. I was hoping that Zareth would be able to steal it from the distance. And now red team's coming from behind. They can pincer move. Oriana ult pulls people together. That tower did go down. Braun with a nice ultimate knocking out. Shades of Shadow and Darth Van damage back and forth. Lucian finished off the tower already, though. That Oriana grabbing up the kill on Lucian. And Kha'Zix grabbing Zareth from the back lines. Now turns on. Has 
the reset, finishing off Shades of Shadows with the help of the stun from Braum. We're going to pick up that kill. The flash from Braum starting that passive on to Z uh, Z Pantheon and grabbing up a kill out there. Kha'Zix finishing that off. So Leona, the only member up. Four members lost for that. Oh, he's going in for Leona as well. Jumping in. Found her. Gets the slow. He was stunned, but now has no more mana for any more jumps. So, Leona with a reactive stun very nicely. Red team could consider starting Dragon. Looks like, or Baron. They are going to start Baron. Zabufu tanking for the moment. Kind of trying to bounce back and forth between these two. And now, Kha'Zix trying as well. Graves don't get knocked up. Ugh. It's so easy to dodge that knockup. I don't understand why you wouldn't. However, their damage is not really that great. They're so low health. Will they be able to grab this Baron? Jace trying to come in and help out. He's the only one full health. There's this little Baron grabbing down. Executed, finishing off Kha'Zix. Jace trying to help out here. Red team wants to finish it. They're so low health, but if they give it over to blue team, it could be really bad news. So they finally get it. But they're so low health. One Xerath Q could finish everyone off. They finally grouped together and back out. That was honestly one of the scariest Barons that we've seen this tournament with red team so close to losing everything on that and they successfully got it thanks to the sacrifice of Kha'Zix Randy797 the new player thank you for your sacrifice um hanging in there be really screwed if I stay up way past 10 or 11 so my teammates are sleeping or something so I want a game three game three all the way Blue team says, you may have gotten Baron, but we're going to get Dragon, so we're going to try to even it up. They're about 2k, 3k gold, I'm sorry, just finishing off Dragon, 3k gold in the lead, but 3k gold could be traded back and forth, the huge minion wave pushing in this top lane, so red team's really looking at either engaging in a team fight in which they can win, picking off some members of blue team. Oh, so many words there. Yeah, lots of words going back over. Ah, oh, Pantheon just picking up blue buff there, grabbing it away from Oriana. Kha'Zix died. You can be team, the team togetherness. The blue team kind of scattered now. Mummy in that top lane having to clear minions. However, there's no minion wave here to help out. So here's a shield on Braum. They're going to grab for the tower. They're just going to do it. A couple of min uh, tower shots, and they have got that tower. And now they're interested in considering pushing in this next tower. Mummy finally cleared that top lane tower, or top wave. So now headed towards the mid lane. Will he get back in time for a team fight to break out or not? Jace gets some nice damage. Hitting down um, the Xerath, down... Lost about a fifth of his health right there from just one shot. Blue team here trying to defend this tower. Jace has some really good poke. Look at that poke hitting down the Luc uh, yeah, Lucian. Knocking him down about half health here. Oriana has some really good poke as well with those Qs. So all of the members of red team kind of hanging in here. Slowly poking blue team down. However, they have to stick it out long enough to really get the full... Um, full damage force blue team to back fast enough that they can then get this tower they're slowly getting a little bit of damage joe mama trying to get a little bit of harass on it however graves being one of the shorter um adc's ranges of the game really hasn't been able to get too much on that nice then on to brahm asherai taking a lot of damage oriana ult finishing up pantheon doing a great job followed by the brahm ultimate knocking up leona as well as the mummy they turn it on to kha'zix though chrono frost picking up that one but that's still going to be a tower down jace actually using that hammer to leap to a minion now backing off there's going to be that Xerath ultimate coming out not being able to finish anyone but Lucian grabbing the kill on Graves as the mummy got a beautiful curse of the mummy ultimate snaring him can Lucian get in close enough to get some last damage or red team turn the fight around we're going to getting massive damage knocking him down to half health here as the rest of red team backs up Rom says I'm going to go back in send me back in coach I'm ready but I sure I backing off finally he saw the damage on Lucian and was like I'm getting I'm doing this but no, don't don't want don't want V3, Braum. You're not not quite that strong yet. So 17 kills to three. Blue team slowly trying to get back into the lead that they originally had. They were so strong. Nine and one early game, and now 17 and three. 45k gold to 42k gold. Still about 3k gold in the lead, but red team continues to do well. They got um, two mid lane towers with this dragon or Baron buff. They lost Kha'Zix. I think it was the only person. They call us Kha'Zix and Graves. However, um, still got some excellent kills out of that as well. The two tankiest members, Pantheon and... I guess Amumu was a little bit tankier than Pantheon. But Leona and Pantheon, which were great kills as well. So, we haven't seen one Wombo combo from Blue Team. They seem to randomly go in and die. So, exactly. We'll see if they can manage it to get this Wombo combo under control. They have to have everyone there together. Everyone with their ultimates available. And Amumu just really needs to position perfectly for his ultimate. Going around clearing some wards up. Huge items coming out, finishing up here. Zanya's finished by Zareth, so he's going to be a little bit harder to take down. Um, Randoin's Omen and the, um, bleh, what's that called? Void Staff finished by Oriana, so she's going to be doing a lot of damage. You saw the amount of damage. She's got triple buff right now, as Baron Buff just wears off. Literally just as I'm saying that wears off. 
Um, then, or Brom has the uh, Randos Omen as well, so he's going to be slaying. Trinity Force Infinity Edge finished by Lucian. Not quite as much of an advantage as he had before, 9 and 4. Lucian Cullen coming out, going to hit both Brom and Orianna. However, that Brom really soaked up a lot of that damage with the Unbreakable Wall. So Lucian's Culling has been finished. This tower hasn't been taken down just yet, but it's very, very close. Orianna on the front lines. Oh, pulling in Zerus! Doesn't even have an opportunity to fully engage. Graves with a great ultimate as well. Three man Brom with a knockup. That is going to be uh, Luyona as well going down. Mummy comes in, tries to finish somebody off. Here's the Wombo combo, but not fast enough. Pantheon leaping in. There's still three members of Red Team, and Orianna off to the side. Going to be able to finish off Shades of Shadow, and Jace picks up the Pantheon kill as well. So that's a, almost a full team ace. Lucian, the member who backed earlier, the only person who actually lived through that. And now they're going to turn around to this mid lane tower. Lucian does have a lot of damage. We'll see if he can manage to get it down. The tower is on Graves. Uh, Orianna continues to give him shields, saying, hey, we can protect you. Just keep hitting this tower. We need it down. There's the calling from Lucian just to try to clear this minion wave. And they continue to put this tower down. It is so low health. Another poker too. is the Pumafu, the last one to pick up that tower kill. And Red Team is back in the game, leading by 1,000 gold, even on team kills. They are not ready to give up just yet. Samsung Black turning it towards the late game says, we have got this. Don't worry. We're still going to fight for it. So an amazing, amazing job. As you're talking about, Jake, blue team cannot position at all. Purple team are using a way it's good catch from Ori. Exactly. Oriana saw that uh, Zareth was just out a little bit too far. She got initially some damage with her Q as he was trying to poke them down. However, the harassment from Zareth is just not uh, far enough ranged. And so she could use her ult. And even though her ult was only on one person, that set that team fight off on such a crazy tone that the blue team literally was just so scattered. They had nowhere to run. They had no idea where to actually go to. And so with the blue team scattered, even though we're on ultimate only hit one person, they abused that. Amuma used the ultimate, but by the time his ultimate was finished, Pantheon's ultimate finally came down. So they didn't couldn't get that wombo combo that they really needed. And red team is making beautiful, beautiful use of that. Samsung Black is just showing their power. They had a very hard struggle early game, and now they're coming back so strong, leading by a thousand gold, as well as tied up in kills. They've been successful with these pushes in the mid lane, and they almost have this inhibitor down. This could be a free inhibitor. They just have to push in and grab it. Amumu is pushing in that top lane, but he's really necessary for these fights, as well as Red Team Dragon just came up, so they could back off and either get Baron or Dragon once they get this inhibitor, and there's very little that Blue Team can do unless they want to try to have a full team fight. Amumu could try to leap in Curse of the Mummy, but it, well, it is up, and Pantheon all up available. This is their one opportunity to get a real fiend fight. Pantheon uh, ulting in, coming in. Will it be able to land? They don't. They just He just wasted his ult. Leona now leaping in 1v5, trying to get some stuns. Uses a nice Eclipse with the Oriana ultimate, stopping Lucian from any engage. He's backing off. Darthman as well backing off. There's that mummy ultimate, but again, going 1v5. Zareth finally getting some ults in. Not enough. The Oriana just walking straight out of that. Jace picking up the kill. Such a scattered team fight. Red team literally just backed off and waited as each member of blue team just said hi and said, hey, we'll kill you too. Just come in one at a time. No problem at all. No one on blue team really wanted to fully engage on a team fight. And each one, Pantheon ults in and then doesn't have enough to really stick around. Mumu comes in, tries to ult everyone, doesn't have enough. Leona came in as well. So each one, one at a time, feeding buffet there from blue team. Just didn't get it. And they got the inhibitor. So red team not only picked up a kill, got the inhibitor. And now it's going to get dragon as well. Pantheon's headed straight towards Baron to ward it. Red or Blue team's pinging this Baron. They say, hey, we've got four members. We could try to get it. But Jace is going to sit there and slow slowly poke them down. Blue team could try a desperate Baron rush to try to even it out. However, do they have enough damage to finish it off? Jace putting a nice word over the wall. They are not prepared. Blue team, this is not the fight that they're looking for. All five are here. However, red team is down on health, so maybe... Maybe. I wasn't expecting them to do this much damage. Graves getting a nice ult over the wall. Kha'Zix comes in, but Zareth steals it. And that's going to be a dead Kha'Zix. He turns invisible, flashes the wall. Randy797 lives. Baron buff over to Blue Team. So, a desperate Baron call, and it pays off. Blue Team picks it up, evens out the gold once again, and grabs it. Now moving back to try to defend the mid lane as they have super minions pushing in. Red team wasn't able to take it. Red team called for the dragon instead of the baron, which is really a toss up on oh, whether or not it could be worth it. But this is an extremely close match across the board. Talk about some serious plays between these two people. Still though, Zabumafu with that stream highlight, I would say honestly, of the night with no health dodging at 17 health dodging all of Zareth's ults. 
just incredible. J oh, if you missed that, I am so sorry for you because this game is top par. Top par. But 55k gold to 53k gold. Red team still just a little bit in the lead. However, blue team with Baron buff will be able to very, uh, should be able to hold this mid lane without a problem. This Oriana, I think that something's bugged because this Oriana's had this double buff since forever. She like never loses double buff. She always has it. So it's, it's pretty ridiculous. But red team now pushing in towards the top lane. They got the mid lane tower they wanted and the inhibitor. They know that the enemy team has Baron buff, but they think they're still strong enough to take them on. Corona Frost doing a nice culling just to clear some of that minion wave. However, there's another minion wave right behind it as they now push in. Blue team's going to have to sacrifice at least one member to be able to hold this mid lane as the minions are continuing to push in. Could blue team decide to engage on a fight or not? They have Baron buff, so they wouldn't mind fighting. However, I still think the red team is really strong. Red team did decide they fully backed out from this. I wonder what their plans are. They're giving red buff over to Graves. They decided not to really engage. I think they're waiting out Baron. They know that they'll be e it'll be easier for them to take out blue team when they get the wait for this Baron to go off. So instead, they're playing a little bit safer, backing off, going ahead and grabbing some farm in the jungle, grabbing up red buff away from blue team, um, pushing out the bottom lane a little bit. Red or blue team is really pushing this mid lane though. Um, they have, red team has not had a mid inhibitor for most of this game as blue team got that early early tower um, and now blue team is really strongly pushing in they want this uh, middle inhibitor they could get it if they get the right team fight pantheon with triple buff they've got baron as well grave starts us off with a nice um ultimate across the everyone across ash thrasher Braum soaking up the culling once again, taking so little damage from that. There's that shield onto Braum. Amuro getting a nice five man ultimate. Here's the Zerath ultimate across the wall. We could see a full team fight. The wombo combo. Bantheon jumping in from the back line. So we're red team pushing in now. Rage so hard down to half health here. Randy 797 as well. Miyuku should be going down here in just a second. Double kill. Jace picks that up. But the bandage house from the mummy. So much damage. Pantheon shutting down the Jace. Oriana and Graves split so far from the team. They aren't able to engage and now they're finally catching up can they get in here in time to actually get some more kills and push in it's hard to say asherite continuing to chase down five four members of red team three members of blue team where's the last blue team member oh the, the, there's two dead okay zareth and lucian are down so the inhibitor has respawned blue team pushing in now should be able to grab this inhibitor um Blue team, or sorry, red team pushing in should be able to grab it. Blue team kind of collecting around, seeing if they can defend it, but it's really hard to defend an inhibitor. You have no extra damage, you have nothing, as well as you really need the rest of your team there to follow up. So neither of the Dragon nor Baron will be up in a bit. However, they're deciding that maybe they want to, now is the opportunity to grab the second tier tower in that top lane. If they can get Braum tanky enough there, actually, Graves has a pretty good tank potential. There's Braum coming in here. Yeah, Graves says, hey, I'll just tank I got so much shields on my back, no problem at all. And they'll take that top second tier turret. So um, red team did get some more out of that. That seven towers, six towers on the blue team, two kills in the lead, 3K gold or 2K gold in the lead, and continuing to slowly build that in their favor. Blue team moves out. They did finally fully respawn, but they lost their inhibitor in the mid lane again. So they're still once again going to have to sacrifice somebody. They now have no exterior turrets that are only relying on these inhibitor turrets to defend that top and bottom. As long as blue team still no combo, like I said, they tried really hard. I will say that last team fight that happened just um, right here, if you can see my mouse, I think on the stream, yeah, you can. That happened right here by that second um, tier tower for red team. Um, they almost had a full team combo. Amumu went in and tanked some damage, snaring everybody. Pantheon ult was a little bit slow. However, it did do a good job and split red team in half. However, they didn't make full use of it. They lost Zareth very quickly. They lost Lucian very quickly. The two main damage dealers. When you lose those, all you have is some tanky CC lineup, and that's not enough to grab some kills. So while blue team did do a nice wombo combo, at least in splitting red team apart, they did not punish them, and they lost, they did not, uh, defend their damage dealers enough. Lucian and Zareth still went down, and that's what they need to do, is they need to keep their damage dealers alive long enough for that wombo combo to actually be useful. So... 30 seconds for the rest of his team is ready. Uh, it's all about shot calling. Shades of Shadows really has to know when to get into a full team fight. Um, but uh, any team fight, blue team really could punish red team completely. And uh, as long as they get a full team ace, that could be the game over. So 
We'll see, but it looks like both teams are playing a little bit safer now. Chrono Frost using a culling to kind of clear these super minions in the mid lane once again. Dragon's up. Baron will be up in another minute and a half. Give him blue buff over to Zara. So nice thing to see from blue team is that they're finally starting to pick up their own buffs. Um, red team, Jace did pick up a Bloodthirster, so he's going to have a little bit of those extra shields and some good damage on top of it to boot. Um, he's really scary. Last Whisperer, BF Sword, M Muramana on top of it. So red team's got... <laughs> they all grab the speed boost to then run the opposite direction. Where is red team going? Are they waiting for Baron? Baron up in 50 seconds... They could be waiting for Baron. So they sent Graves to go ahead and clear Dragon by himself, knowing that he has the damage and lifesteal that he can finish it off. He has both that Infinity Edge, Phantom Dancer, and Bloodthirster. However, he's very much split from the rest of the team. Red team instead getting ready by Baron. So they want both of these buffs. Graves should be able to pick up Dragon. There we go. Picks up that Dragon kill and now heads up here. Blue team could punish them if they decide to engage in a fight without the ADC. However, they did not. I think they expected red team to be a full team. So good call from red team splitting out the team. Brown getting nice and Pantheon jumping in here. He tries to all a little bit early. However, they're going to get straight onto Graves. The calling from Lucian going to do a lot of damage. They did. Oh, the Pantheon did go down. Graves got that kill, but Zareth finished him off. So nice job. Shades of Shadow now backing off. The stun onto Asherite. Is it going to be enough? Kha'Zix just off to the side. Chrono Frost is in the midst of it. They are still living. The two main damage dealers on blue team. Oriana finally showing up to help out the team. Will it be enough? Chrono Frost does have the exhaust, so doing less damage. Rage so hard turning on to Leona. Not exactly the one you want. Another Oriana ball coming out here. However, she's not in position to be able to make a perfect ultimate use or use of the ultimate. Braum trying to flash to safety. Still going to go down. Zareth picking up that kill. Oriana did finally get in some damage. Use the ult, Oriana, now! Oh, it's already down. Oriana already used it down. Zareth ultimate coming out here. Finishing off the, um, uh, Lucian finished off the other one. There's that one hit. One more shot. I think he, no, okay. So Lucian pokes him just a little bit more as they back off. So again, blue team making use of red team being out. Oriana not only used an early ultimate and didn't make very good use of it, but she had to come around the entire Wraith camp before coming back into the team fight. And she was one of the main damagers. She's 11 and 2, and she was not at all involved in that fight, which is such a huge thing. So excellent job from blue team completely, um, keeping her out of that. Um, Miyuki, Miyu, yeah, Miyuki doing a little bit of damage to the minion wave. They got the inhibitor that they wanted, and now blue team can back off. Again, matching these teams, lining up once again. This is the game of them all. Like, I cannot believe that this is only game two, and depending on who wins, we could go into a game three. It is just crazy. Maxman0322, thank you for jumping in here. So, um... My penny said to stay up. Exactly. Amy Angel, you know it's true. You know you wanted to stay up and see the end. How could you not? You would sleep in a game this close? You would forever, you'd be haunted in your dreams by who won? Who won? I don't want to know who won, but I want to know who won. Who won the game? It is so incredibly close. 22 kills to 22. Red team with, again, that slight 2k gold advantage. Jumping over the wall. However, uh, blue team can know they're there. They have that pink war. They've seen like a lot of red team's members just jump straight over, so they know that they're there. Leona's slowly making her way up, but not going to be fast enough. Aparia, I'm here waiting for worlds. I'm on tilt, so I don't want to solo queue. Thank you for the, um, joining in, though, Aparia. It is uh, so awesome to have you. So, red team, they <laughs> game three. I can smell it. We'll see. We'll see. It's so hard. Red team is slightly in the lead at the moment on gold. They picked up Baron once again. They've done extremely well with the Baron in the past. Even if they haven't gotten kills with Baron, they've gotten some turrets off of it and made very, very good use of it. So, we'll see. If they if they keep it up or not, um, and may continue to make use of it, this Oriana though cannot die and has to be a part of these team fights. Eleven and two, she's the most critical member of the team fights, and most cri and she just completely wasn't part of that last team fight at all. Jay slowly making his way. He started that top lane pushing a little bit in their favor, so it will slow push for them. That inhibitor is still up for. Um, Re uh, blue team as red team their inhibitor is down so that super is pushing towards red team's base however red team could make use of this jace or sorry graves in that bottom lane continuing to push slowly don't be caught out graves if graves caught out that team fight's going to end really really badly for a red team blue team coming in and just clearing some of these minions it's amazing to see these team fights as they bounce around between the lanes. They had a team fight in the mid lane. They had a team fight towards the bottom lane. They had a team fight right in blue team's base. It just their teams move so much back and forth. So, who do you cheer to? That is a good question, Aperia. I think that Baron will settle the game. I don't know. The red team's really not making use of this Baron. 
The dragon's not up or anything. They grabbed Baron, and now they just kind of wandered through Blue Team's jungle and didn't really fight at all. They're pushing in now, but they've got super minions on their back. J uh, Lucian going ahead and using the calling. Banshee's Veil on Lucian and M the Mummy. Both pop, but both could come back and be extremely useful. The cooldown on those Banshee's Veils is, Banshee's Veils is so short. So it looks like Red Team really wants to punish the fact that Blue Team doesn't have a tower in this mid lane. Pushing the bottom lane slowly, as well as being a threat in this mid lane. Pantheon's ulting in. Where will he ult in? He's going to ult into the bottom lane. The Flash from Graves and Jace both backing out. And now Braum coming in. Five members of Blue Team. So that's a Pantheon ult being used. But for two flashes, Jace and Graves both used Flash. They might have been able to just walk away from that. I trolled the name for you guys. Merc was in Skype, and I heard y'all say, we don't need anything fancy. I was just like, nothing fancy. That's just an awesome name. It's just an awesome name. Sabimafu getting stunned by Leona. However, she's going to take a good bit of damage. Look at the damage. Darth been down to a quarter health, and Leona continuing to do some damage. Look, another, that Lucian uh, calling just comes back so fast. Using it on Graves, he continues to try to poke this um, inhibitor down. Should be able to get it with one more auto attack, but that's going to pay for his life. He tries to back off. He dashes. He lives. No, Lucian says, I've got you with a dash and finishes it off. However, in that bottom lane, Jace finished off the tower. Looked a little bit for that inhibitor. However, he's going to back off from that. So that was a tower going down as well as an inhibitor. And there is a huge meaning wave pushing in that top lane. If Red Team got to this top wave right now, they could potentially push in and grab that. No, while Blue Team is forced to go and stop that, they're instead going to push for this inhibitor down here. Grab up a second inhibitor. Zareth off to the side trying to get a little bit of damage. Nice stun onto Rage. Hardy is going to take a culling to the back. However, Braum going to finally get in there and block a little bit of it. Uh, Kha'Zix just off to the side as well. That inhibitor is so low health, only 100, 200 health on it. Red Team doesn't want to give up on it just yet, but they haven't taken anyone down on Blue Team. They still have Baron, so they could try to stick it out, but instead they're just going to back off. Dragon up in about 19 seconds, so they could go straight for the Dragon if they have the timer on that, which I believe they do. So they're just going to go ahead and grab themselves Dragon and back off, or they're just going to back straight off. Dragon's up in 8 seconds, guys. It would take you like two seconds to finish it off. Okay, so Zareth's coming around. Or is that Zareth? Kha'Zix. That would be Dragon over to Blue Team if they if they moved on it. So and now Dragon's up, but okay, I mean this is up to them, whatever. So I'm saying that for Najin because OMG wannabes. I don't know. All Asian teams are overrated. So OMG is so great. Fnatic has unfortunately not played as well as I thought they would, but they're still doing really nicely. 23 kills to 22, but Red Team has taken another the inhibitor in the mid lane again and that bot lane tower, so they can continue to slowly push in. I feel like this is one of the LCS championships in which they are doing so well, continuing just to go back and forth. Red Team slowly picking off a little bit here, a little bit there. Tiny bite-sized pieces of Blue Team that they can handle, not wanting to get into a huge fight because they know the team fight potential of Blue Team. So this is amazingly well played by Red, Red Team. They know that fight. The calling from Lucian! Ah, oh, Kha'Zix smites it. Whew. Close one there on that Kha'Zix. Smite stealing Dragon away. Um, yeah, I thought Lucian had it with the culling. He had a couple last shots on it, but the smite from Kha'Zix finished it off. So that's going to be Dragon over to Red Team. Just continuing to grow their gold lead. About 5k gold at the moment. My mustache is just really annoying me at the moment. I'm sorry. Um, Baron up in another two minutes. However, Red Team wants this bottom inhibitor. They have those supermains pushing in in the mid wave. And if they can get two inhibitors down, they should be able to push in well as long as Graves doesn't die. Graves sacrificed himself to finish off that last inhibitor. This inhibitor, while it was super low help last time, has now healed itself to about full. But this team fight could decide. Oh, Pantheon ulting in. Mumu on the Braum. That's the main one. A nice Rihanna ult is going to pull Darth Vin and Mumu in as well. However, that is going to be Graves immediately going down once again. The main line of Red Team's damage being taken out. Shades of Shadow, so low health. Orianna picks up the Pantheon. That's a huge thing. And a Braum ultimate. Nicely knocking up Leona, so that means her CC is limited. Lucian's still alive. Kha'Zix focusing on the mummy. Will it be enough? So many of Blue Team are turning on to Kha'Zix. Can he get out? Double kill over to Orianna, grabbing up the Leona. But Lucian is still alive. The main damage dealer. Oh, and he goes down. Look at Lucian's damage. It's crazy. And now Zara ulting in from a distance. They got the inhibitor. The Red Team did get the inhibitor. Le Orianna trying to back off. She got a nice flash. Q, the Ignite as well. Triple kill over to Oriana. She got Pentacle, guys. 
She got Penta kill. She got a little bit of damage. And Mumu here hanging out. Shades of Shadow doing a nice stun on Debron, but he's so tanky. He doesn't even care. Zareth getting a lot of damage. He's going to jump to Orianna. Orianna, do you have enough damage to finish it off? They're trying to back off. Brom going to start the proccing of his shield or his passive onto the mummy. He's going to miss his Q. That is such a low health mummy that Orianna wants to stick around and finish him off. She's dodging all of Zareth's attacks. That is incredible. This Orianna play back and forth, just dodging all of Zareth's ability. I honestly like if you want to know how to play Orianna, watch this guy. Ah, Miku finally gets the last Q and finishes off Braum. And he still has that blue buff as well, so he could spam that out. That top turret is down to about half health for that in hip Nexus. There's that ping from Red Team saying we need to watch this. It is 60 second timers now as we are at the 48 minute mark between these two teams. Blue Team only has the Mummy and Zareth up and available. No one really... Oh, Mummy has teleport! Mummy could teleport to that top lane and try to finish off the tower. Or he's, he's, he may play it safe. Graves just came up. Orianna's backing as well. So it looks like Mummy's not on the tower. Instead, um, Graves just finished off a lot of farm there. 246 farm onto the Graves, but 329 on the Lucian. Super strong. The she this Orianna's going playing like a diamond. She is diamond. Yeah, she called hacks. <laughs> yeah, Zabumafu is the, um, the team leader for uh, their team. So... I do think this Orianna has, it has a glitch, so we're seeing we're seeing double double buffs on her. Yeah, she's got a, a graphical glitch that shows um, double buffs on her all time, and now she actually has double buffs. I was like, there's no way this Orianna has had double buffs this entire game, but she dance to a, applause by Lady Gaga during the three minute wait for Q time to hype it up for tomorrow. Could do that. Could do that. Q for a finals. That'd be pretty awesome. Red team grabbing up Baron once again. Pantheon ulting in. Will he go down? This Baron fight's going to decide the game right now. That Baron buff is so low health. Two members of Red team instantly going down. Leona got the kill on Baron. And Pantheon picked it up on Graves as well as Jace going down. So they caught out Red team at the Baron pit. Leona with an amazing Eclipse finishing off both one member of Red team and the Baron. Grabbing Baron buff for her team. And now they can push in. There's almost nothing that can stop them. 60 second timers on the 80 Graves. 60 second timers on this Jace. Ladies and gentlemen, I honestly feel like we're going to be going into game three. Zareth backing off, going to be pushing these minions back in the um, at his base as they have super minions pushing in the bottom. But Zareth is great at wave clear. This Lucian, so much damage, going to be taking out this inhibitor. However, this Orianna is still hanging in here. The flashing gauge from Pantheon. Will it be enough? No, he's taken immediately out. No follow up. Blue team, what do you You easily could win the game, but no, blue team's going to back off. The calling from Lucian getting a bit of damage, but Brahm. Is just gonna soak it up. He has so much armor right now. He has the Randuin's Omen, the Locket of Iron Solari, and this Unfire Cape. Just so much tank. He doesn't even care. So, Blue Team doesn't make good use. They clear an inhibitor, and that's it. They only clear an inhibitor with the Baron buff and four people up. Don't follow up with the Pantheon Engage, who jumps straight onto the Orion, which would have been a perfect person to kill. Or he may have jumped onto Kha'Zix instead, but would have been a perfect person to kill. And now, um,. Look at this. This this Orianna has so many buffs, you know, around her. That's that's not even cool, Orianna. How many buffs are you gonna hang on to? But um, red team now full five man strong, pushing in. Pantheon not up for another twenty seconds. They could push in and get this middle inhibitor, and then push for that top, or just straight push for the win. They still got super minions pushing in in that bottom. It will the inhibitor will be back up shortly. The flash from Darth Van trying to keep herself alive. Down to about half health there. Nice block there from Brom using that shield. Um, unbreakable uh, wall. There's that yeah, inhibitor will be up soon. Mummy's down there trying to defend it. Brom straight into the mid lines here looking for some damage. The flash from Graves. He's trying to back off. Zareth with that arcane barrage coming in. Not going to land. Mummy somehow gets an amazing bandage toss straight on the Graves. Finishing him off once again. A nice knockout from Brom, but will it be enough? The rest of the team is going in. Shades of Shadow solo help. Double kill over to the Zareth. Lucian continuing to move in. Zabuma food taking so much damage. The full calling to the back. Has no health or mana. Continuing to back off. Lucy now chasing in onto the Kha'Zix. Pantheon pinging. We've got to defend this base. Three man down for another 60 seconds on red team. Blue team finally making use of the fact that they took out so many members of red team. Can they get this at least one tower down? They don't have any minions at their back. But Leona is so tanky. She should be able to tank the tower without a problem. Oriana is super... F she's finished build. She's got Rabadon's Death Cat, Leandra's Torment, Riley's Crystal 
Scepter, Athena's at Holy Grail, the Void Staff, and some extra damage with those boots. Blue team backs off. They don't want to deal with this 15 and 2 Orianna. Oh, they were waiting for minions. Uh, that's now down to 20 second timers. Red team will be up in just a second. Pantheon ulting in just to hang out here, saying, I am here and ready to help out. That's going to be one Nexus Tower down very quickly. Orianna pulling in four members of blue team. Will it be enough, though? She's got to hang on until the rest of the team shows up. Double Nexus is down. However, Orianna finishing off Lucy as the main damage deal. And now Kha'Zix resets back and forth between the teams. That inhibitor is slowly going down and it finally finishes off everyone on blue team simply focusing the inhibitor and the game is over to blue team team feed please feed areno please areno the shockwave from oriana attempting to defend but the game is over holy cow Holy cow, we're going into a third game, guys. Can I please just MVP everyone on both teams? Because that game was unbelievable. Probably one of the best games that I've ever watched and ever shoutcasted. And I've been doing this for months on end. My mind is literally, like, blown. My nostrils did not fail me. <laughs> Last game of the night, game three. You can't miss this game. It's so amazing. So, my throat is killing me, but I have one more game in me. We're going to finish off Team Samsung Black versus Team Feederino. Please,